Hey Bikeaholics, real quick live. Today I'm gonna to review and show you a little bit about the Custom Dynamics Strobe Brake Light Modulator, I think is what they call it. Anyways, uh, been a long week at work. Been about 100 degrees here every day. It's 100 today, it's really hot in this shop. But I know a lot of you guys asked about it. We have something similar, of course, my full-time job, Leo Bike back there, has something similar on the brakes when you hit it it does a strobe it does a flash pattern it's obviously for safety to warn drivers that you're uh, braking because we all know motorcycle safety guys rear end accidents sometimes you don't get a second chance z monster what's up live thanks for tuning in so i wanted to do something to my bike to uh, uh basically do the same thing on my uh, on my street glide over here i did it before we went to canada we just got back from canada and uh, the guys that rode behind me said they are freaking excuse me said they are freaking awesome and in a group setting it was even helpful because they could really tell um when i even when i was way ahead in the group that i was stopping so with that said let me get in again custom dynamics strobe brake light modulator i'll put links in the description below for an affiliate if you guys want to purchase it what's up from ohio jay barga I'll put affiliate links if you guys want to see the products I'm talking about and I'm going to show you it's actually really quick to install kind of show you what it looks like and uh, I think it was about $90 is what this cost brake light modulator for Harley the one I'm showing you is uh, actually for touring 14 to 17 but I think they make them they're just a little bit different they're kind of plug and play so let's take a look at it here on my uh, street glide switch cameras for you guys all right so this is basically it. all i've done guys is taken off my uh, uh seat pretty simple there and now one thing you'll want to know is that you're going to have to have led lights so you're going to have to make a conversion to led lights guys it will not do it the brake light strobe it will not do it on halogen and it strongly warns not to even try it so you're gonna have to get rid of your stock dull halogen. Of course, I pumped out a video earlier today, check this very YouTube channel, on these Ciro 3D Fang LED um, lights. And uh, I pumped out a video showing them, showing how to install their plug and play. We sell them right in our store, guys. That's right, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash store. I'll link in the description below later on where to get those. Big Daddy Kane is moving those things like crazy because they are awesome. Everybody around here is getting them put on too. So, hey there, uh, Illinois' Juan Morales and all that. Thanks, Brian Swords, for tuning in. I'm just reading some of the live comments. So, first thing, convert to Ciro 3D LED light inserts. And I did it front and back, but this really, I'm only dealing with the backlights for this strobe light modulator. Okay, so once you've converted to LED, this is how simple it is. I've already got it installed. Like I said, I installed this a couple weeks ago. So what you're looking for in your touring models, Electra Glide might be a little bit different, but there's always two plugs here. There's a black one when you take your seat off and a gray one. Pretty simple. You're just looking for the black one. That's actually your brake light. It looks just like this, kind of like this black one here, all right? This black, let me get over here, this black plug right there. But you got a black one and a gray one. Your black one, find your brake light one. That's the brake light one. You simply split it, it pulls right apart. It looks just like this gray one. It's just hidden under here. And you just pop it apart. And this modulator, which I'm pulling out here, I just leave mine laying up here. But this plugs in between, it's got two plugs. And so all you're doing is popping it apart and plug in both sides of the new modulator and box in and then just wrapping your wires up and finding a place for it and you can see what i did with mine i just kind of wrapped it up and that's what it looks like that's the actual strobe modulator custom dynamics okay i just leave it i literally all the way through canada for six days and that's where i'm going to leave it i don't really care my seat covers it i just leave it right back there all right now let me show you uh, a little bit about it. Actually, let me show you what it looks like a little bit. Let's go back here And I'll show you what it does and again The reason is we want to warn people behind us and I'm I do not want to get rear-ended I'm very careful about how quick I stop and stuff. Like I say, we don't often get a second chance at that guys. So I'm gonna turn my lights on here And I just want to note guys these are zero 3ds on film, I, I can't manually adjust my camera because I'm live on YouTube. 
these are actually red. I know the video makes them look yellow. They are not yellow, they're not amber. They're actually as red as red gets for the rear, okay? Um, I know I had some questions about that. If I wasn't live, I could actually adjust my camera so you could see that they were red. But that's just how they're gonna look, but you'll get the gist. So, those are my regular lights. And when I went and I go to hit my brakes, this is the pattern I get. That was one cycle and I'm holding my brake pedal down and I'm gonna do it one more time so you guys can see what it looks like. So every time I brake, that's what the drivers behind me are seeing. And let me tell you, it gets people's attention. These things are super bright. I will note that if you turn your signal on first and then you hit your brakes, you don't get the pattern. So I, I learned that. So what I suggest to guys that have these is make sure you start braking first and let people know that you're braking and then kick on your signal like that. It'll interrupt the pattern, but nonetheless, they got some of the warning. So I just learned to brake real quick. It's my signal on and I get the flash pattern. And so that is exactly what they do guys. Hopefully you got a good shot. Again, these are red. Don't let the, the video fool you. Um, so that is a really good way to get people's attention so you don't get rear-ended. And uh, like I said, my Leo bike over there had it and I really liked it and I could tell how much people, of course it's a police bike so people pay attention more, but they really pay attention to me on my personal bike now too. For 90 bucks, that right there could save your life, guys. Of course, you're gonna have to spend a little more because you're gonna have to convert to LED, but I would submit that your life is worth that. So let's go over here and uh, I've already showed you how this plugs in between. Go back in the video if you're just joining live. But this is the, the stick here. This is really all there is to it. So I'm gonna get this in a position where I can show you guys a few things on it. All you wanna do before you plug this in, guys, is disconnect your negative battery terminal. Just disconnect your battery, the negative side. That's what they want you to do. And then plug it in. Once you plug it in and all that, you can go ahead and, and tidy things back up and connect your negative battery. So. So we go right here. This is the box and I wanna show you, I'm gonna get real close up. So I've got my pointer here. This, it's got two switches. That's switch one, that's switch two. Both of them up like that is on. The left switch is for your brake lights your, or your signals like you just saw me. This one is switch two and it is for a center brake light. So you'll notice here, I only have I only have signal and brakes all in one. Of course, these type of bikes, if you're doing, it has the center brake light, so it would use that switch too. Um, mine, I have the switch two on, but it's not really necessary. Uh, but I would just turn both switches on, and like I say, that way if you do have a center brake light, you're good to go. Now, this thing has, if I remember right, nine, let me actually look. I've got this over here. I've actually got the patterns. Yeah, so it's got nine different patterns. And these are the actual instructions, which is cool. And it'll, it kind of tells you what each pattern does. Mine, I like patterns, let's see, pattern six. I'll double check that, but I believe I'm on pattern six. That's the one I tested all, and they all do different things. But if you look on this thing right here, you've actually got a little arrow on it. I'm trying to get you guys a good shot here with that. Okay, so you see that little arrow on it? That little arrow points in, I am on six. So I'm running mode six right now. And then what you wanna do is make sure your bike's off. Turn the power off on your bike, and then you can adjust it, and it has a little screwdriver insert again. That's not the arrow, the arrow's actually right on the tip there. You can see it. Get a little closer, if we can get focused, there we go. That's the arrow to number six, and then adjust it and see what you guys like, but make sure you turn your bike off while you're adjusting it. Turn your bike off, flip it to the one you wanna try, fire your bike back up, and then go ahead and hit your brake and test it and see what patterns you like. And again, those switches up are in, that way are in the on position, all right? So, and again, don't forget to uh, disconnect your battery. So, there you go. Wire management is up to you, but like I say, I'm just leaving it laying right in there. Um, and sorry, I haven't been able to look at a lot of the comments. It's hard because they come on and then they, uh, 
disappear. But if you didn't get to see it, uh, if you didn't get to see it, then then you can uh, go back in the video because this live video will stay up. But again, custom dynamics brake light strobe brake light modulator, and you saw what it did. Pretty simple, about ninety dollars. Affiliate links in the description below. Don't forget you're gonna to have to upgrade to uh, LED lights and we highly recommend those Ciro Fang uh, LEDs from our store. Don't forget guys too, um, real quick, and then I'm gonna close this out. It is very hot, I had to close the door so I could get some light. It's 100 degrees here. I'm not complaining because it's drier heat, unlike you East Coast guys where it's real humid, I know. Uh, I don't wanna to complain too much, but don't forget guys, we have our, right now, uh, Rick, I believe he has a, in fact, I know, hey Al, he has a bunch of the shock and awe LED light kits in stock, ready to rock and roll, guys. And uh, got those, and I've done videos in the past, guys, uh, full install videos, but I've got it right there. And I'll just hit the switch. There we go. And it's got all the patterns. I've got, of course, the fork mounted illuminators. And I did videos on this, guys, but I just wanted to remind you guys, uh, guys are really, these are solid, solid built kits these shock and awe LED lights that I've got on my bike. And I did some night videos. If you guys search the YouTube channel or our website, I'm just running through some patterns till I turn them off there. All right, and I think I covered everything, guys. And uh, yeah, if you wanna get one of those, uh, sun's in my eyes there. Uh, strongly suggest that. I've got been in the studio eight hours. It's my first day off today, Saturday. And I've been in the studio for eight hours straight editing videos. I have so much um, thanks. I bought the, and installed the Fang Front Signals. Great. Yeah, Juan, thank you very much. Juan Morales. And they're obviously, the Fangs in the front look the same. And they're white. They supplement your headlight. And then they turn amber when you signal. And I, again, I've done a video on that. But uh, yeah, I've been working hard for you guys. And uh, yeah, check out all the videos. And I actually have a detail tomorrow. You'll I have my bug slide and rag ready to go on my Leo bike because I uh, got to get up early in the morning tomorrow. We got like a four or five hour detail at some kind of triathlon. We got to do traffic control. I get a lot of those details on the weekend in between trying to do lab stuff, guys. But uh, what kind of beer is in the fridge? Oh, well, I just had one and then I'll get it out with that. Good question. Oh, what right here I'm actually that is a, uh, not just Pepsi, that's got some uh, Pendleton in it there. Maker's Mark, sorry. Beer, I'm getting low, but here, this right here is one of my favorites. If you have not tried Irish Death, you're missing out. Right, brewed about 30 minutes from where we are in Ellensburg. And then I've got, of course, Modelo, which I had with dinner. That's the only beer we got in the fridge right now, but uh, I think I need to get that restocked before the guys come back over. We've got a bunch of projects going on. Again, I'm gonna get back up in the studio, edit. I gotta get this uh, bike shined up for tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for all your support. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, guys, so you're notified when we come out with new free videos because we come out with the tons. You'll also be notified when we go live like I did right now because it was a surprise, uh, last minute thing. I had some time to go live. Share it, like it, share it with all your biker friends, guys. Peace out. Thanks for tuning in.